All right, time to have fun. Balloons, they've always had a special place in our hearts, whether we're young or old. And Brenda Hardy's here. She's the expert to uh, share her love of balloon art. You're a balloon artiste. Yes. Balloon. Balloon sculptor. This is just amazing. I mean, I don't even know where to start, but I kind of want to start with our model right here because I how I do. How long did it take you to uh, make that? That balloon dress took uh, approximately five hours to make, and uh, it's my only my second one I've made, so I'm just starting it is awesome. in that area of oh, balloon couture. I mean, to me, I would have thought it would have taken you a lot longer. These than are all small balloons. How many balloons do you even know? It's about 80 balloons. Woo! And then the transporting it here, yes, is it's like no, yeah. no, oh yes, it yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It was a little difficult. That is awesome. Wow. Yeah. How do you get them all to stay together? It's, I mean, it's how called, are they attached? It's called the balloon weave. It's huh? just like weaving. You take yeah. the balloons and you weave them together. How did you first get into this? Well, it's 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 a it's quite an interesting story. Uh, a pastor at my church asked me to attend a puppet festival because they wanted me to get puppet fever to run the puppet team at my church. And I took a one-hour balloon class of my cousin, uh, Felicia, and came back just on fire with a passion for balloons oh, like you wouldn't believe. I would say. Yeah. And uh, well, I got your puppet career. fever, but I got more of the balloons. Yes, uh, I do this full time. But I mean, before you started this, you were then, not doing this. I worked for a bank. bank. I was a technical writer. I worked for a bank for 20 years. Uh -huh. and I was a technical writer for 10 years. And then you found your passion. And <laughs> I found my passion wow. with balloons. I absolutely love being able to take balloons and add things to them, like sparkles. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You're like glitter sparkles gems, in there. Gems on the bracelet. And the bigger the balloon, the better. I like to use the larger size balloons now. And so of much course, fun. I love making balloon flowers. I really love making balloon flowers. Oh my gosh. Now you are going to kind of show us how to do it? Yeah, I'm You're going to show us how to do it. We're going to kind of try I'm going to teach you guys how to twist a dog in just three twists. Okay. Twist a dog. Twist a dog. A balloon dog. This is the, this is this the, is the first thing Not that a dog, I ever no, made. Not a real dog, a balloon dog. <laughs> yes, this is the first thing that I ever made. But we're going to make one okay. a little different in okay. three okay. Twist. Is this the first okay. thing that people learn to now, make? don't be afraid because we're going to do this three twists, okay? So three. you're with me. Watch this. Okay. You're going to create a head, and head. this is going to be the ears. So your twist is going to be What's right there. What's going to be there. the ears? These are going to be the ears. Okay, I trust you. And however you make the head, you can come. You can move that up a little bit, make it a bigger head. Okay. One twist. I feel like this See? is built One twist. Oh, I, think it's gonna fall. I know some people are afraid, and it just might. Okay. All right, got to twist. If you're not used to it, now we're gonna make the first. Now twist it three times. You always have to twist it at least three times for it to stay. Oh, okay, that's good. Good. Just left you. Oh, good. Very 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 good. Okay. And the ears. Uh, and so now we're going to come down here and twist the leg. Okay. What do we do for that? You need a, a little third. neck, okay. a little neck, and some legs. Like that? And that's going to be your second twist. I need a second twist. Right here? No? Yes. A little neck. Where's your... And some legs. Yeah. Okay. I need I need to stay after school. Oh. This is what I need. There we go. <laughs> you got a long nose there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Got it. I think you got it. Now, good. now you have here and make the second set of legs. Oh, I don't have enough balloons left. Yeah, but. and you know, sometimes that happens. Squeeze it a little bit. Okay. I'm special. Oh, this is fun. I could see how you could really get oh, into this. Yeah. And then you twist the last leg and you got a dog in okay. three twists. Let me see. Right. My dog has one leg. Okay. How do we help it? Yeah. Let's She's get another leg in there. Yeah. Let's get another leg. Okay, right, right there. there. Thank right you. Right there. She's so patient with me. What My I leg is a little bit short. Oh, in the back. that's okay. It's a little challenge. A little bit. Oh, oh, but look. look, look. Head, but she has enough room for a puff. Oh, mine's like a little oh, hard oh. piece. I call that a pull. You are so good at this. In the doggy tail. Oh my goodness. Be honest, does this really look like a dog to you? Well, as soon as you turn it around. Oh. Oh, is that's that right? the nose. <laughs> your nose is too. Okay. There you go. They are. There so we go. Very good. Yeah, it has a big nose, and we're going to give you a foot, too. All right. Look Poodle at that. Our bird is here. Not too bad. All right. How many times do we have to do this before we get the hat? Oh, uh, okay. it took. It took, I've been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. So I started out making that dog, and now I can make uh, a lot of things. Now, tell, tell us about these creations we're seeing here. Well, on the uh, these are, are just amazing. some flowers that are great for centerpieces. I also do a lot of birthday parties, so, of course, the kids like 
motorcycles. It is a motorcycle. Oh, hang yeah. on a second. Now, it's a top here. Yes. I can make it larger. I'm going to make it larger. That's Look one of the that. things I like to do. Is there any way I can make it really big? That's pretty cool. Good. I like That's to clown, uh, and uh, I also do a little decorating. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got some centerpieces I use from time to time. Oh, this is a bear. It's a little bear holding oh, flowers. Oh, flowers. Really That's cute. adorable. And tell us about this one. This is my this hula is so monkey. adorable. This is my hula monkey is very special to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you after the show. <laughs> There's uh, a story there. Uh oh. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, hula monkey yeah, is a bunch of very, very My hula monkey. You, actually, I need to give credit to all of the balloon sculptors who taught me all of this, attending all of those balloon conventions for the past 10 years. And I couldn't have done it without you because uh, I have learned so much amazing stuff from uh, those guys. Who and came before me. And in case you're <laughs> wondering, you know, you wonder when you do these balloons. I was going to say you can have nails. A woman can have nails. So I would say uh, it would it would be to your detriment. You know what I mean? I end up cutting them off if I have a big job or something. But you're right. I do let them grow out sometimes. Yeah. Well, and, you're the um, professional. You are. And you I want to give you guys a bracelet. Oh, it's like a corsage. I yes. like this. This is yours. Okay. I actually have been yes. wearing my. And there's a link on there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I love link. to add things to the balloon. So if we want to come and learn what you know, you actually teach this. I do. I, I just started uh, teaching balloon art uh, uh, about a year ago, and I just trained a wonderful girl named Tiffany, and she's really good. She's excited about going out there and sharing her balloon love. And too. where do you do this? Uh, I operate out of my uh, home in Baltimore. I live in Baltimore, and I spend a lot of time at the Inner Harbor in Baltimore. Yeah. That's for sure. I love going down there with the tourists and spreading uh, spreading my balloon love. Oh, and I'm sure they love you. So if you're in the Inner Harbor, say hello to our friend here. Yes, I'm awesome there every work. month. <laughs> Thanks Thank so much you. for coming here and teaching us how to Thank make you. our first dog. Thank you all for having me on the show. This is a truly unique experience. <laughs> I've never done this Something before. Something I could never do. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll be right back.